Hello everybody, it's your girl next door AC and welcome to Extreme Love. Um, we're gonna be watching a little, well, reacting and watching to a little video of Extreme Love where this guy, I mean, this girl is obsessed with being a toddler even though she's an adult, which is kind of weird. But like, let's see, let's see what I, what's up, what's up, what's up, you know. This is a valley of ashes, a fantastic farm where ashes grow like wheat into ridges and hills and grotesque the gardens great guts, where ashes take the form of houses and chimneys and rising smoke and finally, with a transcendent effort of men who move dimly and already crumbling through the power dreary air. Peppa and Emily Elfant like to share their toys with each other. I have found my prince. I call him that. That's a weird kink you got there, lady. My name is Max, and I'm 20, but not really, because I'm five. Uh, my name is Johnny, and I'm 31. 20, 31, that's okay. Okay, I really don't want to judge her. The rain stopped. You want to go to the park? Yeah. Yeah? You wanna go fun? Yes, because you're off and I have a daddy baby day. Daddy baby day. Let's get a jacket on. Okay. And shoes. Oh. I have to wear shoes. Also, I want to take Moana. Okay. Moana. DDLG, by definition, is Daddy Dom Little Girl. And it is a subsection of BDSM, which is a part of kink. I was just uh. discovering things about the community, learning a bit more about it. I decided to um, try it out, and I've just loved it ever since. It's just me. I'm a preacher. Okay, so it's it's a uh, the the way she acts is because of like BDSM and stuff. But well, I mean it's a cake, so I don't really want to say so much about it. But it's also a borderline. Um, concerning because this guy is totally fine with it and um i don't know about you but that's a big sign of pedophilia vibes there are a lot of people in the community that do this sexually um and i'm not one of those people this is a completely non-sexual lifestyle for me yeah the way max first told me that uh she was part of this lifestyle. She had shown me the videos that she was watching. She showed me a sippy cup and that she was eating these baby snacks. And I think that's when we, that's when we had the conversation about it. Wait, Mom. Are you gonna slap in the puddle? I know a lot of people look down on more hardcore versions of the uh, DDLG subset, but for a lot of, for a lot of people, no. it's non-sexual. It's, and like for us, it's non-sexual. <laughs> if it's- Well, I mean, if it makes you happy, sure. But like, that's kind of, um, I mean, it's a lifestyle, I guess, but this lady, uh... It's been a really hard day, and she's been a really good girl. We'll go to the park. Yeah, this is not normal for somebody who's 20. I'm like 22. Yeah, I'm 22. And I'm like at the opposite end of this. Um, lady, you okay? I like puddles. Throw me into the park. Do you know how terrifying that would be if like you were a toddler and like you were at the park and then this lady who's like three times your size comes running and playing with your things like Imagine if your toddler would be like What the what is happening? I'm little. Um, I don't know about you guys, but here in the Philippines, in the parks and little playgrounds that we have, it always says, like, strictly for like 10 years old and below only. I mean, she considers herself five, but there's no way she's five, man. You're gonna break those things. <laughs> A lot of the time, especially when we're at home, um, when we're just relaxing and I'm with him, I'm little when I want to be. Um, I'm little when it's right to be. But of course, it's it's not something that like I can't control. Like if we're out in public, you know, I don't just randomly like shout daddy because that's involving other people in something that they didn't consent to. Okay, 
can't stop. I'm sick. See the toddler in the back? Yeah, she's like, what's happening? <laughs> oh no, my socks are wet. Oh, so it's like, <coughs> um, because it's like a thing that she can control whether she wants it or not. I guess it's a form of. In the Philippines, we call it babebe. It's like when you want to act like a baby to be cute. I guess it's that. <laughs> That's annoying. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, they're very wet now. <laughs> but extreme for a big that. kid. Yes, I am. My dom. My daddy takes care of me, but I also oh, take dumb. care of him. We take care of each other. And I think having that nurturing aspect to the relationship really makes it strong. Thank you, Papa. You're welcome. Kiss. I love you. This makes daddy! me cringe at so many levels. I'm so sorry. Is some milk instead of water? Hmm? Got it. It's heavy. Ugh. This is my little corner, and this is where I keep most of my stuffies and some other stuff. And this is my passy box, and this has all of my pacifiers and stuff in it. And I have a lot of them. Lady, lady, you said you're five. Pacifiers are for two-year-olds, not five! vegetables and stuff that you can like cut like that and i really like those all of my rules over here um by the bed so that i can see them i have um an extensive list of rules but the main ones are no tantrums don't tell daddy no this includes back talking <laughs> Well, I mean, you're not wrong for like getting rules for toddlers, but like, hmm, okay. Um, no saying no, and those are the two that I'm not that great at. If I break a rule, then I, I get timeouts. I just have to sit here in the corner and stare at the wall and do nothing. Anytime that I want a story, he'll read it to me because we like reading together, and sometimes I get to read the books, and if I don't know how... Do you realize that speaking like this doesn't really make you sound like a toddler? You sound like you're a damn freaking helium, man. What the heck? I'll say a word, he helps me. <laughs> my favorite toys are all of my stuffies and my Monster High dolls. Those are my favorite, and I don't know if it counts as a toy, but I love the cats. I like to play with them. Daddy, have you ever noticed that broccoli looks like trees? I'm the best at coloring. Yeah, this is the guy calling for help, man. This is <laughs> that is the guy calling for help to try and explain this lifestyle in terms of a little. This lifestyle is kind of like a coloring book where she hands me the lines and I can just fill them in with whatever color I want, basically. Um, so technically, he, even though he's dumb, like dominant, <coughs> <coughs> even though he's dominant, he has to follow the w lady's wishes and has to clean up and follow after her every move. That's technically what he's saying. He's dumb, but then he's acting submissive and stuff, right? We're both equal. Yeah. Can I put it on the fridge? On the fridge. On the fridge. Hooray! Good job. We did it. We did it. We did it. I am so vulnerable and so open in little space that that's where I want to keep it. Like, it's it's a safe place and it's a place that we share together. You have fun today? Yeah. yeah. The best fun in the world. Most fun ever. Most fun ever with the best daddy ever. My my daddy and I are very much in love, and this is something that we do to strengthen that bond. 
Okay. Let's see if you're I am an adult, I'm 20 years old. I pay my bills, I do my taxes. At least, um, at least. It's, it's never interfered and I don't think that it will. Okay, okay, that's nice. You know what? As, as long as you guys are, as long as you guys are happy and content. I will always have that childlike sense of wonder about me. And whether or not in 20 years I still call myself a little, I know that I'm gonna have that inside me because I just, I don't wanna grow up. Okay, uh, <laughs> this lady, I think, has a little bit of attachment issues or probably, like, something with their childhood. But, you know, I, I can't say a lot because, well, I'm not a psychologist. And, um, what is this called? They're happy and they're in love, so I don't really want to get judgmental about that. Hey, man, like, they're happy. That That's... That's good, and it doesn't get in the way of their relationship. But it's just kind of concerning that she acts like that because she feels like she needs to bring out the child in her. Um, lady, I mean, all of us have that. All of us have that little kid inside of us. Some of it, some of us have the little kid less than others, but we have it. But I guess we all channel it differently, and for her, it's this way. So. I guess as long as she's happy, as long as she's happy, and she's not hurting anybody by what she's doing, so yeah. Yeah, that was, that was bizarre. <laughs> Very different from what I'm usually used to, um, which is why watching stuff like this is really fun. And I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. So yeah, it was a very short but precious time I spent with you today and I hope you guys were also a little bit freaked out about the whole video like me <laughs> so yeah if you like this video please hit that like button uh feel free to hit subscribe and that notification bell i would really appreciate it if you uh subscribe to my channel oh my god i look like a lion but it's, it's fine i look like i really i really would appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel if you're new around here and you know comment down below how you guys are doing and everything so yeah, um, sorry I wasn't able to upload yesterday. I my eye was really bad. So yeah, yeah. See you guys in the next video. Okay, bye and stay safe. Okay, wear your masks.